There we go, that's Okay, thanks very much. Um, I'm glad to be the, the last presenter for the food and drinks, so uh, hopefully I'll uh, keep this uh, moving quite quickly. Uh, my name is Aman Sharp. Um, I spent the last 15 years working as a partner at Accenture Strategy, consulting Fortune 500 companies and CEOs in how they can improve their performance. Um, as you may tell from the accent, I'm from the UK, um, recently moved here, talking about moving, come from a little further apart. From 18 months ago, I've now been uh, based in Palo Alto. And um, during my experience of working with uh, Accenture and working with a number of uh, large corporates, I came across the same sort of problem over and over again. That's what data was trying to solve. But I guess an easier analogy to think about it was maybe 20 years ago when I came to California to come visit some family and I was coming with a friend and we were trying to go around the country and, and around the state, sorry. We borrowed a car and um, if anyone remembers it 20 years ago, you had this big Rand McNally kind of book. And you had to sort of pinpoint, okay, I want to go from San Francisco to Las Vegas, I don't want to go to LA and come back to buy Monterey and come back up and then sort of dot it out, figure out the lines and where you want to go, and then you had to go and reach over and get another bike book, and you had to look at the hotels, and you had to look at the restaurants. And you had to try to figure out where you're going to stay and how long it would take to get there. And you had to figure all this out, and it cost a lot of time, and it was also quite expensive. We all know we've got Google Maps today. So that process is now, in a second, you can figure out if it's cheap to fly or to drive or to hit the train. And the amount of productivity improvements us as individuals have made is unbelievable. Now, just imagine that same situation. That's kind of going on right now in the business world. If you're working for a large corporate organization or you're trying to sell your tech or any type of consulting service or special services to a large organization in particular, you want to find out a little bit about that organization before you go and meet them. You've probably got a product or a service and you're trying to go and find out what do they do, how much money do they make, are they profitable, are they growing fast, do they need my product. If you're an employee, you might care about whether or not your, product, if your job is safe, whether the company's hiring, what's the sentiment. You kind of need the same Google Maps compass to let you understand what's going on. So that's where a day book comes in, and uh, what we're trying to do is provide all that information to users in a very fast, quick, uh, easy way, and B2C approach, um, like our friends at Slack. So this legs up. Um, so, in terms of, I'll just get straight into the, the demo itself. Um, I was thinking a lot about we're here at Nokia, and uh, you know, what does Nokia do? Um, are they a good company? And not so good company? What do they sell? Their business has changed so rapidly over the last 150 years. I could actually just spend a bit of time asking people, what do you think their business units are? What are their segments that they are involved in? But that might take a bit of time. So what we did is we captured this all in one place. So the first of the space is, first of all, how good are they as a company? Well, they're ranked four out of seven. Their major competitors are Cisco, Ericsson, Zeti, Motorola, Juniper, and Fitbit. Now Fitbit's a bit strange. Why is Fitbit on there? Because they bought a health company about uh, six months ago called Withings. So actually now in wearables, health space as well. So a number of different companies, different things in there. Are they in the mobile handset space? No, they're not longer in that, but they've licensed their brand. So you get a bit of information about the company, the background, you can see at the top here, um, some around sort of the second, third sentence, you get a bit of information around the segments they operate in. So you can quickly get a quick understanding as to what their business is. You can also see a bit more background as to how that scoring of four out of seven was it came about. Are they profitable? Um, not too bad, 9%, 10%. Uh, they're growing very fast. That seems rapid. Some of the company growing at 65%, this size of Nokia seems very fast. And then you've got to show all the returns, which gives a bit more information. Now, one of the biggest problems that I've encountered is that most people don't actually know what the board are actually interested in. So what are their priorities, what are they looking to invest in next year, and uh, where they want to focus. What's kind of interesting here is that they brings all that information in and then allows anyone to access that. So if you want to get some more information around the priorities, that's kind of helpful. Um, also happens to say that they're about to streamline about 900 million euros cost in the next one year. So if you're looking for a job, that may not be the right time. Um, in terms of some of the other stuff that we've got, we're, we're building all of our insights off the configuration of natural language generation. Um, and you can see what this text is based on data that's come in and, and, and allowed anyone to understand what their company, what, what Nokia is doing and how they're comparing to the competitors. 
And then just to wrap it up, and I can take some more questions around this, we have lots of insight files. We have news. So if you want to do a search on Nokia, you're probably interested to find out about Nokia, but not just Nokia. You want to find out about Cisco against Juniper around Fitbit. So all of these news articles are in here as well. These things then you might want to have a look at. You might want to share it with your team. You might want to share that so they can reply back. You can add some comments as well. So it provides essentially what we're trying to do a personalized strategy consultant in your pocket. All set. Any questions? What is the kind of financial aggregation information like uh, Yahoo, Wall Street Journal, I mean 10, 20, 100, right? How is this different? Yeah, so uh, most of those companies, um, what they're providing is general business news. So Wall Street Journal will give you articles about companies that may be of interest that they need to write about. It won't necessarily be about companies that you care about, the type of company you work for or you're selling to. So it says once you put in the first search for Nokia, it always is going to send me push notifications on breaking news alerts from Nokia and its favorite. So I never miss a beat about that company. And that's coming from the New York Times, from TechCrunch, from Rico, from the Financial Times. So we've basically curated all of the most important sources, got license deals with them, so you always get the most important news coming back to you. Something like Yahoo Finance, they give you more information if you're like a day trader quite often, stock price information, PE ratios. So that's definitely very useful, but it may not be applicable if you're a salesperson going in to understand is this company growing or they're looking to take costs out. So that's what we try to do. Simplify it more from an employee perspective or a salesperson who's got two target marks in there. Yeah? Uh, do you use any human curation or is it all computer? It's going to be human ultimately um, with the computer at the moment we've got scale. So those report cards, insight cards have scaled out to about 5,000 companies right now, major publicly listed companies around the world. We're going to add to that our own team of uh, analysts that can support that. We have a platform business model, so we're also then going to bring in analysts who cover the industry. They can provide their insights on that. So just like the Financial Times, they have a payball. You can get your access to those companies and those industry analysts. You might just have to pay for some of those research reports. I saw what the news article loaded, you uh, just picked one and ran it, I thought, um, and there was an ad on that newspaper article. Mm -hmm. is, there, um, is there any revenue sharing between Data Book and, um, and Rico, the publisher? Not right now. Um, it's a big area for us in the long run. Um, we see ourselves a little bit like Facebook or Google by providing a free service that a lot of people can use. Over time, we're going to be able to hyper personalize marketing to the individuals who come into it. So not right now, but every time we'll try and bid that in. Just to piggyback on that, when you sign up for Databook, is, do you um, basically say, like, I'm a salesperson, or I'm a CEO, or I'm an HR, do you provide any information about yourself? Yeah, so you, it's a little bit like your LinkedIn profile. You can actually link it into your LinkedIn profile, we'll tag it that way, or just add it in. So there's a bit of information around uh, profiling, and then it starts to personalize your information. So I've just said it on sales, but we're going to add more personalization features in there. So if you're in sales, you may be interested in the company growing, revenue growth or cost reduction. But maybe if you're in finance, you might care more about staying working capital. So we're just going to start with financial metrics and build it out to industry metrics like R2 through an industry Yeah? You know, this, this is a great product. I, I like the insights part of this. I was wondering, whose lunch are you eating with this? Is it Glassdoor? Is it LinkedIn? Is it Movies, I mean, well, who's, who are you going after as far as your product stands? Yeah, so um, I think there's a combination of different players that we're um, sort of competing with. That ultimately, uh, strategy consultants is the first place I'll start. That's a very analog business. So a lot of these types of insight cards, you can read through some of the text in here that we are generating. These aren't things that are necessarily going to be coming from a typical news article or from a financial website like Yahoo Finance. So we're sort of bringing two worlds together, professional services and then financial data providers like Bloomberg or Yahoo Finance. The app is not in the app store. We're in uh, stealth mode right now. If anyone's worked with Facebook, Cloudera, McKinsey, Accenture, please let them have to give you a copy of the uh, software. Join the Beast program, otherwise, welcome to go to our website at trydaybook.com 
and sign up for the latest. Wonderful. Thank you, Dana Bush.